This is my 140 gallon system, along with my extremely curious Bengal cat. The lighting system on this tank is an 8 bulb ATI sun power dimmable fixture. go across the house in the den you'll see my 300 gallon tank so we'll take a tour of that next this is my 300 gallon tank take a quick tour here this system's been up for a little over a month now so it's still pretty new added a bunch of corals over from the 140 and we bought a few things as well these guys used to all live in a 130 gallon tank, so they have about twice as much room now, which is nice, obviously. Now that you've seen both systems, let's go ahead and take a trip down to the basement to see the fish life support room. Alright, so you're magically transported down into my basement here. Uh, this is my fish room, so why don't you guys come on in. This is my fish life support room. I'll just kind of show you guys all the equipment here. Uh, right in front of you guys there is my water changing station. At the top, that's fresh water that's fed right from my RO system. On the bottom here, we have the salt mixing station. It's fed by gravity, so I just open up this ball valve here and it feeds fresh water down into the salt station. Uh, obviously on top here, I kind of have two fail safes. I have a check valve and then I also have a PVC pipe here that drains into my sink just in case I was to forget the water for a heck of a lot of time and the check valve uh, failed, this will gravity drain into the, into the utility sink here. This is my Apex Gold system. It's the first time that I've ever owned a controller and I love it so far. Uh, still learning, but uh, it's doing pretty good so far. Um, it controls everything from my heaters to uh, my dosing pumps to the actual pumps that run both the 140 and 300 gallon system and the protein skimmer obviously. Uh, I have the conductivity probe, temperature probe, pH probe, everything's hooked up into there. Uh, and so far everything's working pretty good. Uh, to the right here I have the two dosing pumps, the calcium and alkalinity. They feed down to a couple of jugs that I just have on the bottom of this rack here. Uh, which are my calcium and soda ash for alkalinity. Uh, coming back up here, uh, this is my Kunzi Osmolator. It's my auto top-off system. After kind of taking it apart and adjusting it, it's working really well right now. So uh, it does a great job of keeping my sump at the level that it needs to to run you know, the protein skimmer properly. Speaking of the sump, here it is. It's a 130-gallon Marineland tank. It used to be the tank that all the fish in the 300-gallon tank upstairs lived in. It's now my sump. It includes uh, a Monster Skim, Skims 302. Uh, it's doing a great job so far. If you look in there, you can see that at any given time, it's got some pretty good skim it. Really nasty, black, smelly stuff, so couldn't be happy. As long as it uh, lasts me a long time, I think I'm going to be pretty happy with this skim it. Uh, it's rated for like 1,400 gallons, so uh, you know, got plenty of uh, plenty of skimming power here. Uh, in the actual cabinet of the tank, I have both of my Blue Line 70 pumps. I don't know how good you can see that. 
But uh, I have one running the 140, which is the one you guys see here. And then the one down at the end, that one runs the 300 gallon system. Above the sump, we have my RO unit, which obviously leads to my water changing station over here. Also have four canisters. I'm just running carbon right now, so there's two here, two on the other side over there. They all run off of this manifold that I built off of the Blue Line 70 that runs the 300 gallon tank. Over here we have my quarantine system. It's currently empty right now because I don't have any fish in there, but since I have 80 gallons of water at any given time, this is a 75 gallon tank, so it's really easy to fill up at any time. Uh, if I need to quarantine something from the tanks upstairs, cross my finger, hopefully not, but, uh, or if I buy a new fish, uh, it can quickly be filled to do the proper quarantine process. It's the first time I've had a proper quarantine set up, and I'm uh, pretty excited about that. That's the life support fish room, in a nutshell. Uh, if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to post below, or in the actual thread. And I'd be happy to answer them. If there's any help I can give to anybody, let me know as well. Thank you for watching.